We're high court enforcement agents. We've got high court mate. I'd like to sort this out face to face. Peace out. Twelve billion pounds is owed to people and businesses in the UK. Don't do that, sir. There is money owed, and it has to be paid. When all other attempts to settle a debt have failed, it's quite a lot of money. It's over five thousand pounds. Can you come to bill, please? Cases can end up at the high court. Nothing can conquer the writ. Where a judgment commands enforcement officers to recover what's owed. Our agents are the last chance saloon. Let's go. A high court writ. All checking desks are going to be closed until this match is resolved. Gives agents the authority to enter unlocked homes and businesses. We've made contact. We know they're there. We're enforcement agent. Everybody leaves a trail. And to seize and sell property. If you think we're doing something illegal, call the police. They're trying to do everything they can apart from actually pay the bill. To finally get debts paid. They want us to get their money back. Fifty-six thousand pounds and seventy-six pence outstanding. In these difficult times. But I need to go on. Agents find ways for people to clear their debts. We're not ogres. We're nice people. I hope it'll be a weight off your shoulders then. But every day, oh, call the police now. They face aggression. You wanna put me? Don't do this again. Hey. And abuse. Get out of my way. As they try to settle debts. Watch your back, Chris. This is seventy grand here. That no one else can. He thinks he can fight me. Yeah. Let's see. I know. Who would do? It's an early start for High Court enforcement agents Mark and Virgil. Mate, when I see days like this, I miss back home. I miss my home country. But I was getting fresher than Romania. It's always cold, wet, and windy no, in the winter. No, it's really nice. But we, when you have rain, you have rain. Over here, you have five, six, seven types of rain. For example, what do you call this rain? Rain. They're on their way to collect a debt from a woman who owes a university nearly four thousand pounds for unpaid rent. She's been hard to track down. However, we have located a new address, which we believe they are residing at. So we're instructing the agents to go out and make an attendance. A man has contacted the office to say that the woman who owes the money doesn't live at the address the agents are going to. From the notes here, it looks like she's 23, 24, something like that. Yeah. From uh, the trees report, it says that she still resides there, although the father sent a letter back and said that she doesn't live there. So she's got a feeling we just get a load of hassle from the father here. I totally get why people are protecting their family. Usually, when the son and daughter have been through these kind of problems again and again, they can't make them deal with the situation. It's one of these. Yeah, this one. But it's not going to go away. Go on. The High Court only passes judgment on a debt when all attempts to settle it between the two parties has failed. Commanded by the court's writ, the agents must now find the woman. Someone's in there. Yeah. See you later on. My name is Virgil. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. I'm here with my colleague, Mr. Mark. You listen to me, right? Yeah. I'll explain to you that she's not here. Can you show me some proof of that? She doesn't live here, and it's not my problem, show me. and it's not your problem. Let's Please do this. now. Let's do this. I can't. Please call the police. It's your turn. Tag. I'm trying to sort this out. She honestly does not live here, honestly. OK. I'll give you my number. Can you get to call me, please? I, I have no contact with her. Any other normal person would open the door. It doesn't reside here. Here's a paperwork to prove it. And you'll be on the way, but just the hiding something, you know? The agents are told by people nearby that they believe a young woman is living in the house with the couple. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. I'm betting she's going to call her husband. Yeah, and he's going to come back. Yeah. Should I go in the back and... You can get a guy. Yeah. Give it a go. Here we go, watch your back. Morning, sorry about this. You alright? I'm Mark, I'm a high court enforcement agent. Get off my property. I want you to call the police. 
You can't call the by yourself, sir. I've asked you to leave the property. Have you want my me? property moved? I can't. I'm telling you. Yes. You don't live here. Show me. That's what I'm. No, asking. I'm not phoning you. Get a search warrant. I don't need a search warrant. You do know it takes you do it. You try to get knocked over, won't one. Small businesses account for 16.8 million people of the UK's workforce. Who's the boss? You're the boss? Perfect. And 84% of them experience late payments from companies they supply. We've been given the decision by the court. 50,000 small businesses go under every year because of cash flow problems. So if you've never had anything to do with them, why are they saying that you owe them money? Right, let's get that case up. Agents Chris and Sam are trying to track down a pub landlord who owes a drink supplier over two and a half thousand pounds. The supplier says they've been trying to get their money back for over two years. I've checked the company's house to see if this guy has a company where everything seems to link up to the pub. So let's just hope it's all open and trading. There, look on the right. Lights are on. It's good. Chris and Sam must first confirm that the landlord of this pub is the person named on the High Court writ who's responsible for the debt. Right. It looks like literally it's just that one door there. Hello there, can you come to the door please? Right, we might as well uh, just go and wait back in the vehicle for a bit. Sam spots a man approaching the pub. Have you got the writ? Yeah. Yes, well. Hello, mate. All right. Um, my name's Chris, the enforcement agent. You've been issued a high court writ because you owe some money to uh, drinks company. If, if you want, we can go in, um, and then literally the three of us can go and sit down if you want in your building. Thank you. I never saw him for the extra documents for the full drinks. The man claims that his former business partner is the one responsible for the debt. They signed the contract number. Yeah. It's not my signature. Yeah. That's what should have been discussed at court. You said for whatever reason you didn't go to court. No. Even if the man did not sign for the order, he is still legally liable for the debt. Because there is a high court writ, um, and I've shown you a copy of it, and it says your name, you are the only person that is owing this money. I'm happy to pay yeah. £500 now, and £100 a week, starting from this Friday. The drink supply company who are owed the money say that they offered the landlord a payment plan to help settle the debt, but the offer wasn't accepted. First impressions is key to us. We will be making an assessment on what assets we're seeing. We're not going to get every case paid in full, but we ought to make sure we've got the best result that we could have done on that case for our claimants. 2,719, that's where we are, 2,700. You say to me, yes, I can pay or no, I can't, okay? If you tell me no, or I can pay part of it on arrangement, whatever, that to me isn't a yes. So sadly, that means I need to then look at next stages, which is I then need to see what assets you actually have that could clear this debt. If we move to stage two, that is going to be 3,300. Each stage of an enforcement incurs additional fees, which have been set by government. You can't just but put bills on, bills on. It's, it's it, never going to happen. So I'm going to ask just once more, and I'm hoping you're going to say, just give me a minute now to make the phone call. No, 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 no. You're putting me into a corner now, right? When you put up an animal in the corner, it's going to react. Coming up. So we can have a look at that safe. Chris and Sam identify valuable assets that's telling me that it's potentially going to be money in that safe. I'm Mark and Virgil. We are on our way to you. Call for backup. That escalated a bit quickly. My daughter doesn't live here no more, so get off my private property! Oh. Mark and Virgil are trying to recover a debt from a woman who owes nearly £4,000 to a university for unpaid rent. They believe she lives at the property. 
I'm telling you, yeah. she doesn't live here. Show me. That's all I'm No, on. I'm not showing you. Get a search warrant. I don't need a search warrant. You do know in case you no. do, mate. You try and get flopped over, won't one? To search for goods belonging to a person named on a high court writ, agents have the authority to enter properties and grounds through unlocked doors and gates. I'm just trying to have the a normal conversation. Are here. Listen, mate. I don't care. I'm just trying to have an old conversation. No, we're not. Go and get the police, and if you, if they want to come in, I will let the police in. You need to get away from me. I don't care about you or you're going over there. I just want you to leave us alone. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, you saying that she doesn't live here is not enough. I don't care what it is. You aren't coming in the house. You're on my property now. Yeah. All right. And I, have the I don't right want to be you to. Here you haven't have got a, a right to be here. But listen. I have a high court risk. Listen. 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 Give my number. Stand there, yeah. Listen. I don't care about you. I just told I'm you not right. You, right. you and him need to go off his property. You try and get my house right, Rich. Is that a threat? I don't want to talk to you. And you, Mrs. Smiley boy, don't talk to me. Stand down over there all day. I'm I don't care about you. No, but do you not understand? She doesn't live here. Get the police. I don't care what you want. Piss off. It's protecting his daughter, I mean, that's all it is. Yeah, but it's, it's the wrong way. Yeah. It is natural for the family to protect the debtor. We see it day in, day out. We're inside their castle and they're protecting their son and daughter. And I respect that. But at the same time, we've got to carry on enforcing for the claimant. A lot of people think that's illegal, trespassing or whatever, but that High Court writ gives us that power to do that. Mark and Virgil need to determine if there are possessions within the property they can link to the woman named on the writ that could be seized and sold to help clear the debt. You know, Martin, my property, mate. You're searching in my property with no uh, authorization. This is my property, and you are actually searching it without a search warrant. Then the police will arrest me. The, the police are coming. Perfect. So get out of my no. listen, I'm not bothered. Okay. Do you really get a pleasure out of all this? No, I don't. You, That's... Well, you do, don't you? Sir, you do. It's really Listen. simple to get out of it, isn't it? No, no it's really easy. Coming. The easiest way to get yeah, out of it. Yeah. Let me speak with your daughter. That's it. We'll sort right. it out and we'll leave. The and police it. are coming and you will be leaving. So okay. I'm above it. I'm going back in the house. We'll yeah. wait for the police to arrive okay. and then we'll get it sorted. Okay. Out. You'll see when they re Please don't knock on the door again. You'll see when they turn up. Okay. You go on in my get off my property. Okay, get your hands off. Get off my property. Get your hands off. You're gonna get listen, listen. Listen. You're gonna get it. It makes no difference because we're here today commanded to remove goods. Agents Chris and Sam are speaking with a pub landlord who's failed to pay a bill of nearly £3,000 owed to a drink supplier. Please don't think I'm being awful, because I'm not. Yeah. Um, right, I'll, I'll just tell you as it is. I, I, I'm not going to beat around the bush, because I, I want to save your time as well. Do you want to try and see if you can get it paid at enforcement stage one, before we go and start listing items and move into the next stage? If the man won't pay, the agents have the powers to seize and sell his possessions to help settle the debt. Nothing in here belongs to me. I, I walked in here with a black bag. All, all this furniture in here. Yeah. I, I, I rent it. It's the least part of it. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, you're the one occupying this space and can buy these assets. And if you look on here, it says F and F. I'll pay rent. F so that, F that, that, that. pictures and fittings. Yeah. yeah. Where's your inventory though? Is the inventory on there? Yeah. That shows me there's a lease, and it shows me that there's maintenance work going on. Now, that is not sufficient to say these items belong to anyone else. So we will be taking them in your name. So you what I'm saying to you, you what I'm saying to you now, you well, in very soon, it's going to go to the next stage of 500. I can hear debtors' stories from them having a bad year, a bad day. Of course, I can empathise. I'm human, but you know they might owe someone that really does need that money, and it's their money that we are rightfully trying to get back for them. Let's see if you can get some fun, try and help clear it. I haven't got 2,700. Like I just said to you, I'm, I'm happy to pay you 500 pound now in cash mm -hmm. and 100 pound a week on my payment plan. There's enough items No, 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 no. Are, are you refusing I'm the here to take goods today. I'm refusing it right now. I'm going to take the goods into storage because these goods will clear that debt. He's to and from it and he's saying, right, I can't pay it, but if he doesn't raise the money, uh, we'll be looking to remove goods. 
Now there's multiple TVs inside, there's a pool table, speakers, you've got CCTV equipment, so I think everything inside will cover the debt. Ultimately, you're offering £500. I'm saying to you, that's not enough for a stop action. Okay. So how much so is it for stop action? £2,719. Right, so, and 19. so if I offer you £1,000 now for me to go on, onto a payment plan of £100 a week. I'm going to look around to see what assets are actually here. Phil, is there a safe at all with any potential money in the safe? There is a safe here. Yep. So if we can have a look at that safe. No. no. So if I can't look at that safe, that's telling me that it's potentially going to be money in that safe. That could clear yeah. the, up the debt. Well, how much is in the safe? About a thousand pounds. About a thousand pounds in the safe. So, show me that. Show, show me that. Awesome. Get off my property. Okay. Get your hands off. Get off. <laughs> You're going to get Listen. A man is attempting to remove Virgil from the doorway of a property that agents believe is the home of a person who owes a debt of nearly four thousand pounds. Get out! Don't touch me. You touch me. Um, if you, you are, are gonna, touching me. Until the police get here, don't touch me. If anybody does any harm to me, I'll have to defend myself. I got a family as well. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I can't I. put myself in danger. When we get entrance into a property, obviously we as enforcement agents need to be very mindful. Who is the debtor and who are the persons in the house at that moment? If, for example, the kid owes the, owes the money and he's staying with the parents and they brought this to their property, obviously there's going to be a, a conflict. Or whether just, just family trying to protect the debtor. When we are inside the property, we know that the violence tends to escalate a lot. I'll stay right here until the police get here. Please do not, do no, not push me, do not Put the camera, me. the camera. Get your cameras out, you can film me. The camera. This man problem. just pushed his way through the house yeah. without any kind of warrant, without any kind of I paperwork. So when it comes to physical abuse, they do it because they're scared, because they're scared they feel threatened. And I try to explain to them as best as I can, or as best as they let me, uh, to explain to them that I'm not there to threaten anything, their property, their family, their well-being. I'm just there to do a job. We just, uh, the door's open, he stepped in, and the gentleman uh, showed his displeasure, put it that way. Mark updates the police about the situation. All right, we're on our way, we'll be with you soon. Thank you so much. Ask him. Yeah, no, 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 the police, no, no. we'll get here. If I do something wrong, they will, they will arrest me, yeah. isn't it? That escalated a bit quickly. A big tussle, as it were. Uh, I'll redo, call the police, because they just hand himself and that's right, we've got police inbound to sort this out. Hello. Right. Hi, uh, this is the High Court Ritz for this address. Right, OK. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello, mate. Hello, Hello. 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 Has she, has she got a room here? No, no. Has she got a room here? Yeah, right. she did that. Right. We're, gonna, we're gonna have a quick look around. You just show me her room. Mark needs to establish if the woman named on the writ lives at the property, and if so, whether she has possessions that could be seized and sold to pay the debt. The police speak with Virgil. What I need to establish yeah. is whether or not you want to make a complaint of assault. No, I don't want to okay. put him in that situation. Okay. Yeah. Nobody goes to work wanting to get assaulted. But I spoke with the police and I told them that I don't want to press charges because I don't want to put nobody in a situation to lose their income. We'll just put it that they didn't know and it's excusable. 
But now they admitted that she has a room in there, from our point of view, is confirmed residence. So Mark's inside. Um, he's going through her room, going through the property, through everything. If we cannot get in touch with her and try to sort this matter out, we can enforce and move forward and take control of items and then obviously remove if needed. Coming up. What are you removing? Mark and Virgil take further action. In this room? You can't take the TV or my Xbox. One more. And Casey and Alex attempt to recover unpaid wages. We're, 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 actually, we're actually fed up now. Alex, call around for tow trucks. Was there a safe at all with any potential money in the safe? There is a safe Yep, so we can have a look at that safe. No. Agents Chris and Sam are trying to recover a debt of £2,700. It's owed to a drink supplier who say they've been trying to get their money back for over two years. Uh, there's only £1,000 in the safe. Um, I've asked the gentleman to show me the safe, and he's refused. But we could quite easily open it, and it could be 2,700 well, yeah, yeah, you could, you could do that. That's, that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not the right watcher for you to put your hand in and take my money out. I'll, I'll be honest, that's exactly what happened. We'll take I out only know. what's owed, no right. more, no less, and then we'll give you a receipt for it. I'm not going to be doing that, am I? I'm not silly. So that's telling me it actually is probably more than 1,000. No, it's not. There. No, it's not. Yeah. I've asked so many times now. Do you want to get this paid at first enforcement? Or no, of course I do. Of course I want to get it paid off. But you're not giving me any leeway. There is no leeway, it's just, it's payment in full. I just, honestly, it's better just to pay and settle this. I get a lot of people say to me, like, how can you do that job? They don't realise that there is actually a claimant there, so there's actually someone who really needs that money or is owed that money. With the prospect of goods being removed from the pub finally hitting home, the landlord takes Sam's advice. So just click close, help. Just close it. You're Thank welcome. you. And agrees to settle the debt. Okay. Okay. It's two thousand seven hundred nineteen pounds and zero five pence. Well done. I'll tell you this: it's better to do it like this because that's something out of your hair. And you know what? We're being fair. I know you have, and I've been fair with you. You're, you're doing your job. So there's your receipt. Um, I do wish you all the best, sir. Yeah. Well, I do. I wish you all the best. I, I so in summary, um, that's a payment in full. It was one of those ones where he was testing us, seeing how far we'd go. Don't get me wrong, I think, especially being a bar, you know, bars have really struggled during COVID, but you need to look at the claimant's point of view. If they supply lots of pubs, you know, and all the pubs are knocking them, they're going to be on their knees. I'm really happy with the result. We're going to have a happy client, got all of their money back, and he can continue trading. Yeah, good result. As Chris and Sam wrap up their first case, Mark and Virgil are still struggling to find the woman at the center of theirs. Are they willing to get her, get her on the phone? They're trying. The parents of the woman, who owes thousands of pounds to a university, insist she doesn't live at the property, but does occasionally stay there. It's not going to yet. They're not going to pay. And if one doesn't matter. No, let's, let's put them on the hold. Let's, let's go there, everything. We've had a look around, the parents are still claiming she doesn't reside there, we believe she does. There's an Amazon parcel on her bed, dirty clothes in the corner, which suggests she does reside there. The parents also say they can't contact their daughter. Okay, yeah, then you've come to bed. Mark and Virgil move to the next stage of enforcement. Put it over here on the left, so we can have a better... They won't get in contact with her. They claim they've got no phone number or address for her. They're not willing to make a payment or some kind of payment plan, so we're going down the removal route. The university couldn't settle the debt directly with the woman, and she failed to pay after receiving a county court judgment. Enforcement agents are commanded by the High Court writ to take control of goods that are owned or jointly owned by a debtor. We are going to remove all the items that we want to remove. We feel that going to, they're going to catch an auction. We're going to do it now. What are you removing? You can't take my TV or my Xbox or yeah. my PlayStation. We will take it. We are, you know, enforcement agents because of 
what we do, but we, we are human beings, you know, we, we can see when a person is clearly struggling or when they're being put in that situation fairly or unfairly. We do feel for people, but a lot of times they don't understand we are commanded to carry out the actions. I've got receipts, but they're like very faded and stuff. Oh, no, I can see them. Can, you, can I see a bank statement? What's this for? No, I've got the, the bank statements like that. This proves mm. that this has been purchased, Yeah. but doesn't show by who. The thing is now they realize that we're in business. We try to tell them, look, we need proof to see that it's yours. Uh, they were not able to provide us the bank statements and the receipts. That can't be provided. We will take it, uh, sell it at auction, and obviously the proceeds will go towards the debt. I'm going to be honest with you. We are going to remove unless the balance is paid. Thank you. That's surprising. <laughs> Someone nice to you. I know. Chris and Sam are back in London for their final job of the day. They're looking to recover a debt from a business that has failed to pay a bill of nearly £2,000. This is a debt where the third party arranges um, a money transfer for a customer. The money transfer gets actioned by our client, but the third party doesn't pay the debt. So we're going to proceed with issuing a writ of control and getting our agents to attend. Right. Okay. The agents believe a director of the company that owes the money also owns this shop. Hello, is the boss about at all? Ah, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, please. The shop assistant gives the agents his boss's number. Hello, my name is Chris. I'm an enforcement agent. Chris puts a call into who he hopes will be the man whose company owes the money. A woman picks up. Is the gentleman on speaker? Can yeah. you hear me? Um, yeah, he can hear you. The reason why we're here today is there actually is a high court writ of control. So okay. currently, um, the debt is £1,916.81. Now, if you're telling me that, sadly, the gentleman's businesses can't pay for it, the business can't pay, then it means we start having to list items and go into the next stage, which will actually incur a further cost to the debtor. Uh, the shop that you're standing in, it doesn't belong to my husband. He merely works there. If what the man's wife says is true, the agents might not be able to remove goods from the store to pay the debt. The £1,916, is the gentleman agreeing that he's going to organise his payment within the next few minutes? We're going to have to, okay. but if you just give me a little bit of time just to pick the I, kids up. Now, how long do you need to pick up the, the, the um, kids? I need, uh, if you give me half an hour. OK, so we're going to hold it exactly where it is now, give you that 30 minutes as you asked. If the money isn't in the account between then and now, then obviously we'll be looking at moving it to the next stage. All right? All right. To determine whether they can seize goods to pay the debt owed by the director's company, Chris and Sam must confirm what they've been told is correct. They've made one claim that these items potentially could belong to another company. If you want to come out, I'll have a quick look and see if I can see any utility bills. So while I'm waiting around for half an hour, we will be having a look around and just cementing the fact that this is where the debtor's goods are. Mark and Virgil are listing goods to seize from the home of a woman who owes nearly £4,000 to a university for unpaid rent. If you get in touch with the doctor and the is cleared, have a good day, sorry to disturb you. Yeah. To settle the debt, the agents can take control of goods that they reasonably believe could be partly owned by the woman named on the High Court writ. Right, I've got receipts, but they're like very faded and stuff. This proves that this has been purchased, but doesn't show by who. The claimant has been chasing the debt for months. It's been over a week since a notice of enforcement was sent to the home. But so far, the woman has failed to communicate with the agents. If you're telling me, let me have a chat with my husband, see what we can sort out, OK? I do understand where we come from. I do understand what we're going through emotionally. But at the same time, we are the last line. We are, we're problem solvers. We have to collect the debt, but we want to do it as easily, as stress-free as possible. That's our aim. Facing the imminent removal of property from the family's home, the woman's father makes Mark and Virgil an offer. 
Right, so phone up your whoever has got the phone up. I'm more than happy to pay hundred pound a week. Yeah. Right, over fifty two weeks that comes to five hundred and two uh, two five thousand two hundred. More than enough to cover the debt. Sometimes people are put in that position, not being their own fault. I think the most important quality that we need to have is patience. If you have a lot of patience, then you're in a prime position to negotiate. Unfortunately, that phone call, if we make it, I know what they're going to say. No. The business so the opportunity will be to say all this in now, and you're not going to get anything like that at all? No, we're going to get more from this guy. You're You're joking, you're man. We you are absolutely having a laugh. What can we pay today? Yeah, we've got to pay something to kickstart it, okay? okay. So, so they know it's serious. So what I'm happy to do today, lads, right, to get rid of this problem, yeah. I'm going to give you a thousand quid, right, print the day, and then a hundred pounds until it gets paid off. That is doing. it. They've proposed a payment plan. You can see if we try and push it through. Can I help? Hello, it's Mark here. The case I'm on now, they can do a thousand pound now and a hundred pounds a week. Is that something? That would be accepted, yes or no. The office checked with the claimant to see if they will accept the offer. Happy of you to accept the a thousand pound now and a hundred pound a week. Thank you. Thanks, bye. Cheers, guys. See ya. Yeah, that's all done. A thousand pound paid. Hundred pound a week. Yeah, it started off very hairy, to be honest. He used to look up for his family. We managed to calm it down, but now. Reality's hit, but it's not going to go away. He found the funds, settled it for his daughter, and it all calmed down, and we're having a chat and laugh and a giggle inside in the end. Ted had a little fisty, shook his hand, and good ending. Yeah, it's the best outcome. Best outcome. OK, so we're going to give you that 30 minutes as you asked. If the money isn't in the account between then and now, then obviously we will be looking at moving it to the next stage. The clock is ticking for a director to pay a debt of nearly £2,000 that his company owes to a money transfer business. The shop that you're standing in, it doesn't belong to my husband. He merely works there. Chris and Sam believe the director's company also owns this shop and the stock in it. If you want to come out, I'll have a quick look and see if I can see any utility bills. The agents are checking paperwork in the store to try and pin down who owns the business. Chris? Oh, fantastic. Good call. We've got a duplicate receipt here, and it is the um, debtor's company. So with that alone, I'm, I'm more than happy that, you know, the money coming to this till is actually for the debtor. The wife of the man whose company owes the money promised Chris they would settle the debt within half an hour. He's got like 12 more minutes to pay, so as long as he doesn't try and take the mick and, you know, start changing his tune later on or try and waste our time, then I'll be happy just to, you know, take it as quick as possible, give him a receipt. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. As Chris and Sam start looking for valuable assets, a man who claims he's the director of the company that owes the debt arrives at the shop. So you mentioned about payment. Are uh, you wanting to get that cleared now? Yes. Yep. And he wants to pay. So did you get the message from myself with the uh, payment details? One minute. 15, I'll give you the rest of cash. OK. Hello there. Can you check the account for me for £1,500? So hopefully that £1,500 gone through. Right, OK, awesome. We'll issue a seat and the uh, job should be good and we're just getting the balance now in cash. OK, and that's it. Good Thank you again, sir. Done, that was quite a good one, wasn't it? He certainly didn't want us uh, digging in too deep, did he, or taking anything out. The best thing for him to do is what he's done now. He's just literally said, yep, yeah, all right, I haven't paid it, I need to pay it, how do I pay? Done and dusted, home time. Home time. That's it. As Chris and Sam clock off, Agents Casey and Alex have one last job of the day. Yeah, 
if this company are active at and, and trading at this address, yeah, I am actually quite intrigued about what it's about. I, I, yeah, it's a bit baffling as to why it would not be resolved. They're on their way to collect a debt from a company director whose business owes a bill of over three thousand pounds. You always get a little bit of a buzz when you're arriving or a minute away from the next job. You're facing different people every time that door opens and you never know what's going to come at you. How they're going to react, how the case is going to go, how it's going to be resolved. The claimant's owed money, the money is owed. They could be, you know, losing staff. They could be about to shut down. They could be going bankrupt. It's about trying to recover as much of that money as you can for the claimant. The registered address for the company named on the High Court writ is in one of the wealthiest areas of Berkshire. It's a person who clearly has quite a substantial amount of money available. Hello, sir. Do you want to come outside? My name's Alex, this is Casey. Hello. We're from the High Court. So do you know why we're here? The man at the door says that he's the director of the company but doesn't know anything about the debt. Let's, let's, come, let's come and have a chat in, inside. Let's come and, no, let's no, come no, and, no, let's no, come no. and, let's so come and have a chat. Out, please. Out, please. Out from my house. I'm going to be honest with you. At the moment, there's an amount of money that's owed, 3,735 pounds and 52 pence. OK, which you must, you, you're going to need to pay today. Coming up. You've stalled 45 minutes. Alex and Casey target the ultimate luxury item. Unless we receive this money by payment today, we'll be looking at seizing the Bentley. As they try to get the bill paid. This is the last time. I need a payment now. Three thousand seven hundred and thirty-five pounds and fifty-two pence, which you're going to need to pay today. Agents Casey and Alex are at the home of a company director whose business has failed to pay a debt for over six months. Is this address? It is old. No, it's 2021. No, no, no. It is before. It's 2021. Already. Let me show you. Yes, yeah. company's house. Yeah. No, no, no. Company's yes, house. Yes, it is a change in the, the director and this or this. No, no, no. no. The man is insisting that the address on the writ is not valid because it's no longer connected to his company. This is you, yes? Yes. Yes. The tax return on November 2021 at this address. Can I call as a police? Yeah, sure. We don't mind. They'll verify who we are, why we're here, and that it needs to be paid. Yes. Where's so there's the no office? office here. At this flower. So there's no, there's no office here. There's no office here. Okay, okay, so what so, I'll do is while you're talking to him, I'll do a walkthrough to verify there's no office here. Yeah. So you're saying there's no office in this house? No, no, no. Office. This is my house. I this understand. Is my, my family house. Right, we're going to have to have a look around, sir. As it's the man's business that owes the money, anything the agent sees to repay the debt must be a company asset. This all this stuff here, yeah? Who's this? Who's this? This is for, for my, my house. For... All of this, for your house. Yeah. For your children. Okay. Casey spots the enforcement notice on the table. Here's what we're here for. This is what we came for. So this is, you already opened it. This is why we've been sent by the writ. Yeah, yeah. This is exactly it. And you didn't call in to deal with it, but this is why we're here. In November and never bothered to call back. But here's all the information right here, sir. Despite being shown the letter about the debt, the company director is still claiming he doesn't know anything about it or understand why the agents are there. Okay, so you don't know why you owe the money? Is that what you're saying? You don't know why you owe him the money? Alex calls the office to get more information about the debt. Hello, Shoku. Yeah. Can you tell me what is the money owed for exactly, please? Oh, so it's a, it's a tribunal, basically, non-payment non of wages. OK, so he used to be an employee, so he doesn't know who he is then. OK. All right, that's absolutely perfect. That's all I need to know. Thank you very much. Casey? He knows who it is. It's non-payment of wages. 
got a friggin' Bentley in the drawing room. I've just found out what it's for. There's an employee, and it's, he's not been paid his wages. So that's, that's why we're here. And that unless we receive this money by payment today, we will be removing goods from the home. That will include the cars outside as well. So we'll be looking at seizing the Bentley, for example. The company director, whose Bentley is worth over £100,000, calls his PA for assistance. Sir, who, who is this? It's my assistant. Yeah. Does she speak English? Yes, please. My, my name's Alex, OK, I'm from the High Court, all right? So basically, we're in the house and we found evidence that the company are trading and that there's evidence here as well. So what you need to explain to him, that unless we receive this money by payment today, we will be removing goods from the home. That will, that, will, that will include his cars outside as well. So we'll be looking at seizing the Bentley, for example, and that'll be taken away today to pay for the amount owed. OK. I, I hand the phone back to him. Hold on. Right, madam. Now he's been explained what's happening, what's happening, what, what's, he, what's he going to do about it? He would like to contact his uh, lawyer tomorrow and you'll decide what to do next. Unfortunately, if he does not pay the amount to, to now whilst we're here, then we'll be taking the car or we'll be taking the goods. That's what will happen. You know, just said, you said uh, his car is quite expensive, it's more than the uh, yeah. price. See if he's in any rules, like TV, computer... Right, no, 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 no. We can take the car, madam, otherwise I wouldn't say it. Even if this car sells for £50,000, they will take the money that's owed and they will return the rest of the money to him. That's how it works. I usually find that the people with more money are the hardest people to get the money out of. Because they do not agree with the decision, they will stamp their feet and they will refuse to pay. But the judgment's been made, the order is in place. We're there to execute the writ. I could be there for 10 minutes or an hour the same outcome is still going to happen. Just to let you know, um, he's had the time. If he's not going to pay it now, we're going to take the vehicles out the back. We're going to call the truck. You've stalled 45 minutes. So are you going to pay this, yes or no? We're being very nice and trying to hold off as long as we can, but this is the last time. I need a payment by debit card, credit card, or bank transfer, and that has to be done now. So put him on the phone. This is his last chance. Thank you. How are you going to pay? How? By card? I see. I see. We passed that time. We need to. We needs to be paid. Alex, call around for tow trucks. Right, madam. Madam, we're, 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 we're actually we're actually fed up now. It's going to stay We're actually fed up now. We keep on discussing the same things. Is he going to pay? It's yes or no? With the agents poised to seize the man's Bentley. Are you paying by card or by bank transfer? Oh. Okay. Where's the card? The company director agrees to pay the debt in full. 27, 35, yeah. 52. Enter your pin. Hang on. Okay. Is she on the phone? Okay, the matter's been paid, madam, okay. So now we're going to leave all these papers. This will be your receipt, our number here and there. If you need any questions or your lawyer, tell them to call us. Okay. okay. That's it. Yeah. It's done. It's finished. Cheers. Clearly, this gentleman has quite a substantial amount of money. We are in quite possibly one of the most well, expensive yes, areas in the whole of the UK. So he's got a hundred grand car in the driveway with other vehicles. We found that this case was money owed to an actual employee. And that person could have been like really struggling, maybe lost their house, their mortgage, because they couldn't pay that one bill from that one amount of wages that they were expecting. And now the matter's resolved. So somebody's going to be happy, especially the employee. Watch your back, Chris! Next time... Get in the car! Chris and Sam come close to the edge. He thinks he can fight me. Trying to recover over £12,000 from a landscape gardener. I don't think I know. Casey and Alex clamp down on student debt. Don't move your vehicle. It will smash the end of the car. And Mark and Virgil dial up the pressure. Have you got anything to stop the enforcement? Yes or no? To recover £1,500 for phone repairs. I hate the way this works.